Hello Oz bloggings, Oz bloggers, blogs of Oz. Um, this is Andy Carl here again uh, backstage at the Wicked and this week <clears throat> what do we have for you? A uh, new song um, and we have a uh, interview with Brian Munn, a universal swing and he'll try to explain that to you because I still don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, Brian Munn is one of the Universal Swings for the show on Broadway. Um, and also some random footage of uh, Rondi Reed and D. Rossioli. I'm terrible at pronouncing names sometimes. Especially that one! So welcome again to another week of the Oz Blog. And uh, here we go. This is called the uh, Cheetah Lounge. It's the, actually where the conductor is, the conductor rooms, and as you can tell by the lighting and drapery, Cheetah. Cheetah Lounge. This is Brian Munn. He's one of the U Universal Swings in uh, Wicked, and I didn't know what a Universal Swing is, and uh, I'm go we're going to try to explain that to everybody, but I want you to get a quick scan of the Cheetah Lounge conductor room. I mean, they've got, they've got it all here. What exactly is a universal swing? Because I didn't know what a universal swing yeah. was until I got to the show. So yeah. uh, explain to the Broadway.com viewers. Right. Well, it's sort of a unique position in a show like Wicked because we have so many companies uh, nationwide. And so a universal swing is someone that can swing all of the different companies. So um, I, along with several others, uh, can swing the first tour, the second tour, and the California production, which is currently in San Francisco. Um, How many companies are there? So there's the two tours, the two tours, the San Francisco. There's here, mm -hmm. and there's there's Germany, there's London. There's... Do you go to Germany or do no. you? That's, no, no such luck. Is there anyone? I keep hoping for Australia. Uh, well, uh, uh, Jenny Denoya, who's our our uh, alphabet standby, right. she she got to go to Australia for like six weeks, which was really cool. That's kind of cool, mate. Go down under. I know. I'm, a good, I'm trying to work time. that one. I th all of us would love to do that one. And she was telling me she did like four shows a week there. And it was yeah. something like that. I'm like, that's cool. If you can go and be... She was like the matinee right. alphabet. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of awesome. I, I mean, a good thing. maybe it's hard, but also once you're done performing, you, could, you, you have four other days or shows off. You can go look at the sights of Australia. Sure. Have yourself a cool a bit. Yes. And a Foster's. Sorry, Australians, for my offensive nature. <laughs> um, but how many roles do you cover in, uh, throughout well, the country? Uh, it depends on the company because there's more here. Um, I, oh, wow. I, so. I've been on for, I think, nine tracks here, including understudy stuff, because I understudy the, the Wizard and Dr. Dillman. And then, Which you do very well. I've, I haven't seen you do the Wizard yet, but I right, did Dillman the other day. That's and I was like, coming up. It's great. It's a very interesting thing, the universal yeah. swing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I have I have no further questions. No. Uh, and, it, and it boggles my mind still today. I have many more questions. So write your questions in if you have any, because I have plenty. Um, thanks again. That's thanks, great. Brian. Yeah. What we're here, he's from. Um, <laughs> and we're yeah. with D. Rascoli and and Rondi Reed and Rossioli. Rossioli, is that Italian? Italian. I'm Rossioli. sorry. Everybody says it wrong. I say it right because I've known D. For Rossioli. How long? A long, long time. Long time. At least what? Three years. At least. At least three years. Well, I got three weeks. Yeah. Well, you're a whole other case. You've only been here for three anyway, weeks. Anyway, how? So much longer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, could, you, like, could you say that again in the camera? Go ahead. I've only been here for three weeks and it seems like what? Just a little bit longer. Oh, okay. Life imprisonment. Yes, I've, I've made quite an impression on everybody. Yeah, so um, to speak. What are, what's going on today? And, and what, you guys were talking about something. Or is I it just shooting the shit? I was asking Dee when her last show would be because I was very sad about that. Yes. Thank you. Um, yes, but Dee and I never dreamed we would be doing it on Broadway together, which oh. is a really, really cool thing because we did it together in Chicago. In Chi Town. Yeah. Okay. Um, How was that I experience? Was did you get along as well? Of course. But Dee there. was the little baby standby. She looked like Aww. she was about 17. You really did. And I've aged so much in the last She's three years. She's aged beautifully, <laughs> like fine show. wine. Oh, no, but I remember when you first started doing it, and I can say this because I'm objective. Sorry. Because I'm objective. 
she bloomed. I mean, like bloomed, like full blown from, you know, a little bud into like an incredibly stunning. I mean, it was unbelievable. It's unbelievable, but no, but it's true. Yeah. So you started off as a standby? Yeah. She was standby. Yeah. When Anna Gasteyer was doing it. When we opened it in Chicago, uh, it was yeah. Anna Gasteyer and Kate Reinders and, uh, uh, playing oh, Linda wow. and Alphaba, and okay. uh, me and Stephen Skybell, who's also done Dr. Dillman on Broadway. And, and on you were a standby as well, Rondi? No, <laughs> I was Madame Morrible <laughs> in Chicago. She was well, for excuse me. Yes, for El for Glinda, that's my dream role. It's like I can't even believe it. I don't even want to talk about it that you're going to be done with the show. Away. You're my, you know. There's something to be said Can about you your first Alphaba. Wait a minute. As I'm Your coming eyes. in closer, I'm coming in closer, I'm coming in closer. You missed my face, though. You're, you're, I thought this was another a face. picture of Kevin Kern. <gasps> we Everybody are. Everybody loves Kevin Kern. Wait, wait. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm gonna go back and get ready for the show. It's almost half hour. I'm not Kevin Kern. I'm sorry. In the times when you're all alone. And there's nothing to watch on TV. Don't, Don't be scared, scared, you're not on your own. You're a click away to come be with me. It's the Oz Blog, and we're waging a war. It's the Oz Blog. Don't know what we're fighting for, but this music's over dramatic. And the people backstage are so fun It's the Oz Club We won't stop until we fall Oz Blog, yeah! It's incredibly awesome. I agree that it is awesome. You will love the Oz block. <laughs>